Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Google Ads series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll be discussing about location extensions or location assets in our Google Ads. So let's see how we can use location assets in our Google Ads. So we are in the official documentation of Google about location assets. So let's see what they say about it. <coughs> Incorporate location information in your ads by setting up location assets. With location assets, your ads can display information such as your address, a map to your location or the distance to your business to help people find your stores. People can then click or tap your location when shown with your final ad to get further details about your location on your location page, which includes the most relevant business information all in one place. With location assets, ads may also include a phone number or call button so that users can easily call your business. So when to use location assets? Ads with location assets help people to engage and visit your business. For search networks, uh, let's take an example like Clara, a bakery owner, wants to draw, draw food traffic to her storefront. She adds a location assets to her campaign. Now when people nearby search on mobile for one of her keywords like best bakery nearby, or fresh bread, her asset is eligible to show and may give bread lovers the distance to her location and its city, her location's street address, a clickable call button, tapable or clickable access to a detailed space for her location with information such as hours, phone number, photos and directions. Location assets can also work with YouTube and Performance Max campaigns. So for YouTube network, let's take an example like a major clothes retailer wants to target the audience segment fashionistas, encouraging people browsing online to come into the store and make purchases. To accomplish this goal, the store's account manager sets up location assets on YouTube ads. Alongside her YouTube ad, the location asset format shows a teaser of business information. When a user clicks or taps the location within the final ad, it expands to a location page that shows more business information such as address, phone number, and store hours. The store shown in the final ad is selected based on the user's location or a location they have shown interest in, where they basically show. Location assets can show your business information in various formats on mobile devices and computers, on search network, display network, YouTube network, and Google Maps. For Google search network, on the search network, ads with location assets can appear as a standard text ad with your location and phone number. On mobile, a clickable call button may show in place of your phone number. So we can see here is an example of an ad. So this is the headline and this is the description. And underneath the description, we can see our location assets are available. Okay. So for Google search site like Google Maps, your locations can appear besides above or below search results on Google Maps, including the Maps app. For Google Display Network, your locations may show on sites and apps on the display network when people are near or have demonstrated an interest in your local area. Okay. And for YouTube video ads, your locations may show on YouTube true view in stream and bumper ads when people are near or have demonstrated an interest in uh, your local area. So they have given us some instruction about adding location assets. Okay, removing location assets and how to turn off and remove location assets. 
and they have also mentioned a couple of common issues of using location assets. So I will share this doc file with you so that you can study further about location assets in your Google Ads, okay? So let's see how we can implement practically location assets in your Google Ads, okay? So I have to come to the asset sections in our Google Ads, then I have to click on plus button, then I can see the location option is available here. So I'll click on location. Then we can see uh, they are suggesting us you can use curated locations right away. They are faster, easier to set up and automatically update to make management simpler. Okay, so you can select one of the three options are available here like select curated locations, find a business profile manager account or you can select link to a business profile manager account okay so if you click on this option you can see a couple of countries are available here so if i click on united states then we can see 7586 chains in the united states so if you select one of them and click continue then the first one the first option will apply in our location assets like select curated locations so i will not use it so if you want you can use curated locations the second option is find a business profile manager account so you can see there are bunch of email address are available here so if you click uh, one of them and select them and click on continue then the second option will uh, be applied in your location assets. So I would suggest you to use the third option. If you have a Google My Business account, then use the third option. Like uh, if you have Google My Business account, then uh, it will show a couple of uh, locations uh, available here. Like this is my dummy account. That's why it is not showing. So if you have a Google My Business account, then uh, you will have a couple of locations options available here okay uh, and you can also request access to your google my business account like if you put a email address if you want to take the uh, uh, gmb or google my business account access then you can send the access to this email and if he or she accepts the uh, access then it will be uh, you will be able to add their uh, location uh, from here okay so i will select the first one like select account and if i click on preview then you can see our location assets will be seen like that okay so i will select this one and i will click on continue okay I will click on finish. So you can see this is the dummy account. So zero location will be synced. So for you, if you have a Google My Business account, then you will have a couple of locations inserted here, synced here. Okay. So hopefully you have a clear understanding on how you can add location assets in your Google Ads. Yeah. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you have liked our video. If you like our video, you can subscribe our channel. Okay, you have a good day. Bye-bye.